Welcome to Brawlhalla. You know, Jet Bean sticking with his his um oh with the uh, Tai Lung pick actually. Yeah, it's but I sticking love. with the Mordex, you know, so again, we're gonna see two great scythe players, but I think Crocky's gonna take it. He's gonna edge it out. Three, two, yep. okay, so game one, five. Roll. Game five? Uh Rain. I'm gonna predict uh You've been three. spot on. What do you got? Keep, keep him coming, what do you got? I think it's gonna be a 3-0, but I wanna see a 3-1. I wanna Wow, 3-0 Global Breakouts, Koala Crocky? Okay, oh, I like listen, it. Listen, I'm a big fan of Crocky too. But okay, I wanna okay. see Jet Bean get a couple good games in. And honestly, I haven't seen a lot of you know Jet Bean gameplay. I don't know how he's gonna fare against Crocky. This is a matchup that we really haven't seen a lot of. Yep. So doing great on the scythe right off the bat. Nice weapon throw from Crocky. Given, given a lot of, you know, nobody's given uh, given their opponent much right now. Everybody's kind of on the dominance. A lot of weapon throws here. A lot of stage control from both players. Yeah, this is definitely how it goes off, especially in the beginning with two players who are definitely uh, not as familiar with each other. They definitely have to find out, you know, what are the other players' tendencies, right? Like you just saw, like Crocky's been around for like four, or five years, maybe even in the Brawlhalla competitive scene, definitely. where you have Jet Bean, who is kind of just kind of stormed onto the scene right. at the end of last year and now into this year. So right. definitely a lot of a lot of time that they're spending to really figure out each other's movements and tendencies. But overall, Jet Bean Beautiful. does get the first KO with a nice read. Yeah, and you know, just to talk about it a little more, we have seen Jet Bean in a lot of community tournaments getting better and better placements. But, you know, nowhere near where he needs to be right now. So he's done great. He did 25th, I think, I believe 25th in North American uh, in the Autumn Championships. Yep, so yep. we've seen some moments of greatness for him. Is it going to be enough to carry him through, though? And so far, so good, Rain. I mean, he took that stock early. He was able to build a little bit of damage on Crocky in the second stock. But Crocky was able to even up real quickly. And it just goes to show you, wow, beautiful strings. Wow. Great reads from Jet Bean over there. Crocky getting punished. Yeah, and the interesting thing here is that Crocky is, is prioritizing using Scythe over Spear. Mm -hmm. You saw that Crocky could have stayed on Spear, but okay, but now realizing, like, okay, now Jet Beam is an absolute animal on this right. Scythe right now. I have to find a way to get back to Spear and really get back in my comfort zone because Jet Beam is absolutely awakening with a force all the way from the Kung Fu Panda Studios themselves. I mean, this Tai Lung pick is looking phenomenal for yeah. Jet Beam. Yeah, it's great drip. I got to give him the drip competition win in yep. this match. Oh, okay, I like it. Like you know, you'll, you'll have to see Karaki on spear. He's a great spear player too, so I'm really glad that he's picked it up. Although he is taking uh, he is taking some early early stocks. He's you know consistently losing the stock first, but you know I think just credit to Jet Bean on that. He's playing great right now. He's doing he, especially against someone like Karaki who's playing Mirage, a, a comfort pick for him, and you know great on the spear. So Rain, I think my prediction was wrong. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit close to call. Crocky's still in a nice power position here and able to get the edge guard to confirm the KO. But yes, we do have uh we do have now Crocky in a damage advantage currently behind Jet Beam. So the thing I'm loving right now though is Crocky is on spear instead of scythe. And what that's gonna do mm -hmm. is give Crocky a lot more opportunity to actually build up that damage with those weapon throws and those SIGs that we're seeing right now. Yeah, I think this one's going to go to game five. If not, um, I think this is going to be a 3-1 or a uh, game five. Ooh, wow, wow, Jet Bean taking wow. the first game. Let's go. Okay, game five. Game five. I love it. I love yep. it. Crocky needs to get on those reads. He is, he is. Uh, you know, we're seeing good dominance. We're seeing good comfort. But Jet Bean's kind of just edging out those reads. He's getting some great scythe combos. We're seeing two, three, four, and five strings from him, which is not good for Crocky. He's got to mix up those dodges. He's he can't get caught repeatedly, and yeah, Jet Bean's doing great. Yeah, and one thing I'm looking to see here for Crocky as well is for Crocky to rely much more on that spear, right? Like Crocky basically yeah. lost a stock and a half from trying to go toe to toe with Jet Bean Scythe and just getting absolutely pummeled. But when Crocky was able to use that spear and really set up stage control and use those nares, those weapon throws, to then rotate into those sigs, you were able to see a lot more damage output come from Crocky. I mean, look at that right there. Only 55 damage with the mm -hmm. scythe, where Crocky was holding the scythe for half the game. So that's all you need to see there. Ultimately, here we go. Game number two. two we are one, now one. into this matchup where Jet Beam is up 1-0. Ooh, Rain. Rain, this is awesome. I, I, I kind of want to see, like I said, game five is in the books, I think. 
I'm calling it right now. That'll be my prediction. But Crocky coming out strong. He's got the spear. Great neutral air from him. Building up the space. But Jet's being, Jet Bean's on the gauntlets right now. We didn't see too much of the gauntlet play in the previous match. But he's doing great. He's holding on and keeping the dominance. Both players showing a lot of respect to each other. Just kind of figuring out the reads with these new weapons. Yeah, definitely. And Crocky looking to build up this momentum early on. Notice how Crocky is really not being too aggressive here. Mm. But, oh, nice D-Light to catch, catch with the, the D jumps from Jet Bean. That was yeah. so good. Beautiful. And that's, that's what, you know... That's exactly what you were talking about. You have to get a little comfortable, get those reads, and that's exactly what he did. He waited, he's trying to pick up the habits, and then he's like, I'm going to get that D-Light. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, Crocky in a pretty solid position, doing much better than before. And look at that immediately. Crocky just straight up throwing away the scythe. Okay, so now we know that Crocky has definitely seen what we're seeing too. The spear works, the scythe doesn't, and Crocky is A-OK -okay with that. But the one thing about that is... If Jet Beam is able to hit this Weapon Star here, it's oh! Crocky to a bad situation just like that. Weapon Throw Beautiful turns weapon into the Angles. Ensign KO confirm, and again, Jet Beam now really focused on this Weapon Star, sirs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, okay, Crocky evening it up right now. He didn't really take advantage of that Weapon Starve or the stock difference, but you know, it's tough when you're playing when you're playing against someone who's as experienced as Crocky, right? They, like yep. as much as you wanna you wanna control the match, they're also not gonna let you control the match. And I think that's why Crocky is holding on right now. Despite kind of taking those early stock losses, oh, Jet Bean oh, oh. is able to just kind of, he's not, Crocky hasn't given him space to go wild yet. Yeah, yeah, and you definitely see Jet Bean still looking a little bit more flustered, but look at Jet mm -hmm. Bean. Jet Bean will literally throw away every weapon to try to keep that spear out of Crocky's hands. Yeah. And right now, Crocky's going for the same thing to do anything but keep that scythe out of Jet Beat's hand. Yeah, lots of weapon throws coming out in, the, in in these past matches as well. And I think I think a lot of it is just both of these players are playing very comfortably and very confidently right now. Nobody yep. has kind of lost the edge. Nobody has lost the mental. And I think that oh. is what's going to be the differentiator as the games progress in this best yeah. of five. Yeah, and oh, I think Crocky actually meant to get back in the spear, but miss input oh, it. No. And so, okay, now we are back on the site, and Jet Beam is able to kind of diminish a little bit of this advantage. Can Crocky confirm the KO? Oh, oh and beautiful. Crocky does still almost get it with that delight recovery, but still not enough. There oh, it is. But DC this is the first so time good. we've seen Crocky take a lead, and he's done it in a great fashion. Again, yep. he's starting to control a little more, you know, despite that weapon throw mix up, which maybe wasn't a mix up. I don't know. But he's showing a lot more control. There it is, the pressure. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -oh. oh, beautiful little read and what weapon throw from Jet Bean. And what he, a he rotation. Oh, wow. And he knew. He knew Crocky wasn't making it back. Yep. Oh, no. Now, this is where you got to be a little bit nervous for Crocky, right? Jet Beam is going to start with his stage control. Does get the weapon throw as well initially. And now Crocky, okay, is back on that spear. But is in a terrible situation. Jet Beam gets a touch off edge. But the weapon throw does save Crocky. But Crocky still is not able to get back in the stage control. And Jet Beam is making Crocky suffer left and right here, sirs. Oh, man. Rain, it is wild. I mean, it's anybody's game. Oh, I don't, I, I don't know who's going to take it. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's it. Oh, no. Almost. So close right there, Jet Beam with a nice end light into the end sync. That is the third time Jet Beam has actually caught Crocky with that combo. And that combo's not true, but an end sync from Crocky of his own will confirm the KO. And Crocky's global breakout takes home game number two, and we're a one-to-one. -one. Oh wow, beautiful rain. I think I think this is gonna be the the, the set best of five. I think oh, they're yeah? just so yeah. evenly matched. They're so evenly matched that despite the seed difference, despite the PR difference. They are still in it, and I think, you know, the back and forth we've seen is great gameplay. Jet Bean is saying, hey, you may have not seen a lot of me, but you're going to be seeing a lot more. I'm here. <laughs> Absolutely, and you know, you're right. These players are neck and neck. They're extremely even, and it's opening up a lot of opportunities for both these players to definitely continue to get a read on themselves, right? So something that I'm curious about, Sirius, what you brought up about is, you know, how much of a veteran Crocky is in this pro scene, whereas Jet Bean is new, right? So as the matches go on, you would assume that, you know, the, the experience of the player is what really is going to start giving the advantage. Yeah, yeah, it does make a difference, you know what I mean? Like, especially when you have a player like Crocky who's been around not only in the pro scene, but just in the Brawlhalla Hall scene for so long. Yeah. You know, you have a lot more comfort to understand how the game is played on a different level, like only experience can give you, right? Yeah. And, and, and you know, sometimes I think it does make a difference, but at the end of the day, Ray, what you bring to the stage is the most important, and Crocky with the beautiful side stick there, taking the slight lead, but Jeffy answering back.
with his own little scythe weapon throws. Yep, and oh, Crocky oh, finally was like, I'm going to bait out that N-Sig, use the weapon throw to allow myself to rotate back down, and then uses an N-Sig knowing the Jet Beam was going to jump up to avoid the D-Sig that Crocky's been doing with Spear. That was absolutely so top IQ gameplay. Phenomenal stuff from Crocky right there. Amazing, amazing. I mean, and this is what you want to see. Again, it is BCX. If you're not showing up here, where are you showing up? And, I mean, both just outplaying each other back and forth. There's no clear winner in my mind just yet. Beautiful unarmed control by oh. Crocky. Oh. oh, wow, the double wow. recovery. Sending him wow. off stage. Wow. The Crocky dominance, the, the pressure, lead? the control. Two stock lead? I think no, so. I, I, I think so. Yet, close, I though. mean, Rain, I wouldn't even mind. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait a second, what? What oh, was part that? Of the clip. Beautiful. Part of the clip. Put it on yeah. the mixtape. Two Clip weapon throws in. into an unarmed KO. I mean, I haven't seen anything like that before. Uh, I Beautiful, just mastery by... by yeah, I don't think there. Crocky had seen anything like that before either, sirs. <laughs> <laughs> you think he that. meant to do that? Um, yeah, I, uh, you know what? For the sake of Crocky, we'll say yes. I, I think he did. We'll Crocky I think he that. did. I think a player like Crocky knows exactly what he's doing. Yep. And it looked great. But Crocky losing that stock. Jet Bean denying that three stock. Which it was a, it, it, three stocks going to be tough at this level of the competition. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, a hundred percent. And right now, Crocky is absolutely popping off within this matchup, and really, we're starting to see kind of what this this side of Crocky that we wish we were seeing within game one. But what this is doing now is it's forcing Jet Bean to get out of their comfort zone. Look at the confidence, Crocky's even like, look. I'll even get the job done with Scythe now. I don't care. I, oh, I in the first game, but I can do it now. Rain, and that's the kind of confidence you get when you are when you have such an advantage. You, if you're a whole stock ahead of your opponent, that's when you can play like that. You get more comfortable. You get more confidence because you're like, okay, let me explore some more options. Let me go a little crazy. Let me catch some things that maybe I wouldn't catch if I was trying to play safe. And that's exactly yep. what we're seeing <laughs> from Crocky right now. He's really kind of getting into his groove in this game three. Oh, yeah, and this should do oh, it right here. Oh, oh! Hold up, Look wait a minute. That. Hop in the drink. Taking a okay. sip to celebrate in Crocky with a massive victory to go up 2-1 after getting dominated in game number one. So, okay, sirs, give us a bit of a breakdown. What is Crocky doing, and why is it making such a difference in this match? I think I think Crocky's getting the read. I think he's understood how Jet Bean is playing, and Jet Bean is not switching it up enough. I think Crocky has understood after in game three, and this is why best of fives are so important, because yep. you have not... not not two, not three, but possibly four games to really get a good read on your opponent. And it looks like Crocky's getting there. That's where this experience comes in, right? You have to know how to read your opponent. You have to know what things to pick up on, especially when it comes to the pressure of competition. And I yep, think and that is where Crocky is edging the yeah. win right now. Yeah, and we are seeing a bit of a uh, a reset here from Jet Bean. Still on the Mordex, but getting rid of the Tai Lung to go on the Dynamo. And you know what? A lot of players do do this sometimes. You know, sometimes you just you got to reset. Get a new skin, new color combo. Mm -hmm. Do what you yeah. got to do to really get the mind right and get back in the matchup. Hey, it makes a difference. I mean, listen, you think it's just the same legend, but the skin difference makes a difference. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And Crocky, though, picking up right where he left off. And this is okay. I mean, Crocky, I don't know if it was Nerves game one or whatever it was, but Crocky is looking dominant right mm -hmm. now. But yeah. Jet Beam still starting to find a way to kind of pick up this damage on Crocky. And all of a sudden, it kind of seems like Jet Beam's getting their flow back as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Jet Beam's showing a lot more confidence, still hanging in there, putting, applying the pressure, saying, hey, listen, I took that, I took that L in the last match, but I'm still here. I still got it. And you know what? Rain, to be fair. I know it was a it was a 2-0, but I still felt it was kind of close. I think yeah. Rocky just found like a small lead and ran with it. Yep, yep. So here we go. This is the deciding factor. A quick reminder that this is on loser side. So if Jet Beam loses this match, Jet Beam will be out of North America BCX. And their tournament run will come to an end. So this is everything. This is everything on the line for these players right now. And if you're Crocky, you do not want to let this go to a game five. Oh, definitely, definitely. Crocky's going to want to finish this right now. He's in the lead with 2-1, but it's not like having a 2-0 lead, right? Like, if, if Jet Bean wins this, it's going to game five. You don't want to get it. You, do, you don't want to take it all the way there. 
players get tired, it's tough, it's very taxing to take it all the way to game five, especially when your opponent is so evenly matched and it's so close. It's going to yep. be a tough fight, and in cases like this, it could always, the scale can tip on either side. So Crocky's yep. going to want to close out. He just hasn't been able to find that little gap, that little lead, and run with it like he did in the previous game. I don't think it's far off, but he needs a little opening, and Jetbean, to his credit, has not given him that opening. Yeah, it's because Jetbean's really starting to adapt, right? We're noticing Jetbean's not falling for a lot more of these kind of ground pounds or these recoveries. Right. And really not a lot of these nares either, which is where Crocky was able to build up so much damage so fast. For sure. Right? Jetbean's staying in the middle and forcing Crocky off the edge. And when you're forced off the edge with Crocky and you go for those weapon throws that don't connect, now Crocky's on Scythe again, right? Where Jetbean has won pretty much every altercation when it has come to the Scythe for Scythe matchup. So. Jetbeam definitely starting to adapt here, and that's something that you love to see, especially out of a younger pro. Yeah, and you know, that Scythe v. Scythe matchup is always great to watch. I mean, there's so much movement and so much reading that you need to do, and, and it's tough because both weapons, because both players have weapons that function exactly the same way, so when they're trying to outspace each other, they also want to get into the same positions to kind of answer back. But now we yep. see Crocky on the spear and Jetbeam on the gauntlet. Oh, oh, oh. oh, beautiful. This is it. Wow. This is it, Rain. This is the little opening Rocky needs to run with right now if he wants to win this match. He's got a little bit of an advantage, and he's got to run with it. Jetbean cannot give him any space right now. He needs to end Crocky's second stock as soon as possible. Yeah, and the interesting thing was, all right, the Eli is going to from Chaos. Now we have one stock, one stock, tournament life now for Jetbean. Jetbean has to survive and be Crocky, or Jetbean is going to be out of BCX for North America. But something I was going to talk about that was interesting was that Crocky got the KO and then chose to go into Scythe against Spear, which every time we just have seen that has not worked out for Crocky at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting choice. But again, you know, where do you find the balance between a weapon you're comfortable with and a bad matchup? And so, you've got to kind of play to your strengths, I think. I think Crocky might be making the right decision by sticking oh, oh, oh. with that spear. Beautiful side stick just to bait out the dodge and give a little more spacing. Crocky showing some great movement. Oh, Weapon throw into oh. the D-Light. Didn't get the read afterwards, but... Rain, I think this might be it. Yeah, Crocky is building up so much damage here. Oh no, but down goes the spear. We know that's where Crocky thought. Oh no, jipping through the a weapon. Side -sig here. I definitely Jep see Crocky with a side piece coming out. Never oh, wow. Off. Great weapon starving from Jetbean. And oh. there it is. The recovery. Crocky takes game four. 3-1. The set finishes. Crocky in the lead. Crocky advances.